It's time for Eric Plays Outer Wilds, Episode 1. Alright, so I have no idea what this game is about. I know nothing about it. Um, Dan, my brother Dan, who, um, if you happen to watch um, this channel uh, on uh, YouTube or Twitch, um, you know that um, he, he's played with me a few times on Splunky 2. Um, <coughs> so, that Dan... Got me Otter Wilds. Let's see what this is about. Alright, they say play it with a gamepad. My gamepad. Dan even told me he said make sure you play it with a gamepad. Let's see what this is about. I have no idea. Some kind of weird moon or something up there in the sky. Around. Whoa, okay. So I'm at a campsite. I was just happen to be looking up. Around. Hey, there's a dude here. Up with this dude. Wait. Whoa! There's our pilot, back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. So it's launch day, eh? Like only yesterday, you joined the space program, and suddenly here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. I wonder if I'm one of those things, too? <coughs> or am I a human or whatever? What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. Um. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pause the recording and see if I can change things so that I'm getting better frames per second on video. All right, let's see if this can keep me at 30 frames per second in the recording. <laughs> Anyway, you need to get launch codes from Hornfells at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you said your goodbyes or whatever. I don't have any second thoughts, are you? Let's see. The launch codes again? Hornfells has a launch code. Should be up at the observatory like usual. I'm starting to think they live there. Alright, let's see. There's my shadow. Some of it, anyways. Jump. Okay. Right. Used to playing these type of games with the mouse and keyboard, so a little odd here. <clears throat> Alright, that's clearly observatory. Another one of those alien things. Mika. Hey, it's you! They say you're blasting off your ship today. I'm really excited to see you launch. Aren't you gonna go into space? Aren't you? You better not have changed your mind. I want to practice with a pro before I leave. Ah, you're just saying that. But if you really want to practice with me, I guess I could help you out a little. Try to land on one of the geyser pools. Show me what you got. Alright, let's see here. Fly model ship. Alright. Horizontal thrust is L. And... Oh, boy. <laughs> Alright. And uh, L and R. Okay. Oh boy! <laughs> um. Oh boy! Um, I need to reset this. All right, let's see. Down, up, and on the geyser. That work? Is that what I was supposed to do? <laughs> uh, what the heck am I supposed to be doing? I thought he said land on the geyser, didn't he? Maybe man over here. There you go. I guess that's success. I don't bloody know. Alright. I think that's fine, I'm sure. 
Alright, I guess that wasn't the observatory. I like the music. It's good music. Orphy. Hello, Hassling. Oh, I guess I'm young. Here leaving us a sick adventure among the stars. When you turn, let's you, me, and Gossin open up a bottle of the good stuff. <laughs> um I'll do this one. <coughs> An iron stomach is the mark of a true Hirthian, my friend. A hardy hunter gather lifestyle stems from trial and error, by which I mean our ancestors survived eating a lot of bad things. <laughs> Let's see. Postcards from orbit. Interesting. Dial. Actually blasting off that thing, huh? They don't explode us off anymore. Some of the same fact Miko's model rockets team seem to burn to the ground around here more than these two. <laughs> can I get for you? Yeah. You gonna watch the launch? Of course! Watch it from a safe distance, obviously. <laughs> Mostly it makes sure nothing catches fire, but watch nonetheless. Alright. Yeah. Satellite camera. Picture is linked to our Sky Shutter satellite, which is currently orbiting Timber Earth. Alright, there's a geyser of some sort. See if I go like this really fast. Assuming there's something I'm supposed to get out of this. <clears throat> there's the observatory. Alright, well, maybe it'll make sense later. What's over here? Various rockets. Flag of some sort. Walking this way. Talk to this guy. Whoa! <laughs> Talk tomorrow. Let's launch day, huh? Hal's gonna miss you. We can launch it. I was thinking about it. And the platform those ships launch from is getting old. It's about time you built a new, less flyable one. <laughs> That's probably a good idea. Let's see. Nice try. Launch plan is flammable? Ha! Huh, you didn't realize that? Don't worry. Hello for all launches so far. It'll definitely be fine for yours. Probably. <laughs> can I go in this house? No. No house. Okay. Hello there, Space Cadet. You're leaving the crater today. Me and any of the other travelers up there? My name is Park Care of the Instruments, won't you? <laughs> oh, sure. I made all their instruments, you know. Let me see. There's Church Drums, Rybeck's Banjo, Gabriel's Flute, Felsbar's Harmonica. Felsbar's been missing for a long time, so that feels like just yesterday. They're playing their harmonica around the campfire. Anyway, you hear music in space? That'll be one of the space programs of the travelers. If you like company, you can always pull out your signal scope and track them down. Hmm. It's a very... <coughs> I mean, I guess this is the whole point, but... Place looks kind of. Hey, it's like the Death Star up there. Yeah, this place is kind of ramshackle. I think for having a space program, maybe. Oh, astronaut. We wanted to play out and see, but remember our last bottle of their signal scope because it's really delicate. Not supposed to be thrown around like that. Can we use your signal scope? Can we, please? Let you be it. Sorry, I can't today. Oh, really? Can't play with signal scope. Play with us later, okay? I'm going to outer space. Didn't want to talk to me, huh? Right, going this way, I guess. Zero G Cave Observatory. Here. <clears throat> Guys, fishing out here. Fishing rhyme, fish rhyme. Singing helps me pass the time. Ha! <laughs> I like that. Kind of meta. Leaving the crater? Guess we'll I'll be a little busier without you laying a hand. <coughs> that big water plant, giant steep. That's where I'd go. What's that? One time after the rest of the village had left to sleep and it was just the two of us sitting around a campfire, Gabriel told me about the first trip to giant steep. The only ship easily enough in the waves, but couldn't be too far down on account of how murky the water was. I guess it's too dark. 
Gabriel wants to see what lay beneath the circus. They decide to travel deeper. They travel down and down. Suddenly, Gabriel couldn't go any further. I will. Just pausing dramatically. <laughs> so exercising a will of its own, water was refusing to let Gabriel go any deeper. It held Gabriel back, almost as if it was trying to protect him from something. <clears throat> and then in a terrible darkness, Gabriel saw it. Tentacles, some hideous beast. Is that all true? Heard from Gabriel himself. Gabriel could be a little fanciful, sure. But they aren't a liar. I mean, probably, anyway. Alright, so it's telling me to go to Giant's Deep. Interestingly, so far, all the pronouns seem to be gender neutral. Wait. And the observatory is that way. There's G Caves over here. There's camera. Huh, interesting. Huh, I wonder why. Why there's green over here. Interesting. Hi, astronaut! You know the patch of ghost matter inside this fence? Gusson said it used to be bigger when they were a hatchling, because ghost matter evaporates. This takes a, a, a super long time to go away. There's a ghost matter in the village I'm, when I'm a grown up. Ghost matter is awesome. I guess that's what that is. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Such a grown up. That's funny. Let's go up here. smoke coming from young back creator up north figure I should check it out you can use a scout launcher just please don't break it while I'm gone whoa uh interesting a lot of stuff revolving around pictures this game. Also, interesting. Whoa. I think it's like burning or something up there. Oh, I see. It's taking pictures of wherever it's at. Northwest Geyser Mountains. Okay. Young back crater. Okay. Oh, my ruins. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see here. Over here. Oh, hello, astronaut. Good weather for your launch, right? That's lucky. I nice. signal scope to pick up sounds from distant planets. The Outer Wilds ventures frequency so I can pick up traveler's music. <coughs> Last night I heard Ryback's banjo coming from Bear Hollow. Hope that means they're safe. You're different planets too. It depends on what time, night or day. Different planets are in the sky at different times. Signal scopes are cool. Oh, that's awesome. called different planets don't seem that far away. I wonder what this means about where I'm at. Huh. Interesting. Also things seem to um things seem to uh orbit really quickly, so I'm guessing I'm like on a really tiny tiny planet or asteroid or something. Yeah, I thought I might see you before the big launch. It was getting the better of you. I'm a little nervous, yeah. Good, everybody should be a bit nervous going in space. I got cocky during my first flight and nearly put a new crater in the moon. I was nervous green as you. Hey, I've gotten better. 
I think so, do you? Feel equipment to your flight coach? There's a satellite, which is definitely not a piece of broken mining equipment. It's set up down set up down in the energy cave and need repairs. If you're looking for a little last minute energy practice, head down and lift into the cave. Or don't, as long as you're confident, you can make the ship repairs in space. Satellite coming up. Alright, let's Pretty. Time to look everywhere because I would assume most players are going to stay looking in one direction, so they're going to hide things. Yep, definitely one of those creatures. I think a shadow like one of those creatures. Zero G cave. Up, 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 up. Real dude? Yep. Hey, now see you drop down. Can you time in? Going there in the cave? Hmm. No, I'm fine. Green, fine. But you know, I hate that cave, so I don't know why you're making me talk about it. <laughs> no, got sweat hands. Alright, let's see. Where I started, right? I oh, mean, I'm not going to do well if there's no map. Here we go. Um. Zero of repaired. Oh boy. Um. Ow. Oh yeah, this must be... Oh boy. Must be a tiny place if this could be in the middle of the place in a zero G. Alright, so I'm here. Now what do I do? How do I... I repair this. Do I have to do the repair? Oh, oops, hold X. Hey, where's the other ring? There we go. Not close enough, I guess. Can repair, 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 repair. The other. <clears throat> so far, at least they give me a decent amount of oxygen. Oh, I don't freaking know, but oxygen. All right. All right, where's this? The going out of there, right? Oh no. Oh, no, 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 go back in, go back in, go back in. Okay. Ooh. Oh boy, ouch. Starting to run out of fuel. Find the other part of this is broken. In this corner back here. Here's something. Oh, I think I see it over. Oh, no, no, this is just the floor, I guess. Huh. There's a way to figure out. Part of this is broken. 
around for a little bit. Oxygen's be all right. Here. Here's something. Is it in here? There it is. There we go. Alright. It doesn't give me high hopes for when I get out into outer space, but it's not the end of the world, I don't think. Alright, let's head out of the end gravity place here. Off here. All right, return the suit. All right, be here. Water sounds. Eh. All right, go peace. Nighttime. Nicely done. It'll be a little more stressful when you're hurtling through space, but remember your training and try not to hit anything big. Alright. You guys need to get off this rock, so get the launch codes from the observatory and get out of here ready. Fuck up there. Hey, try to avoid getting yourself killed. I'll put so much time in training you. Got it? But to me, the fact that it's day night, day night, all the satellite stuff tells me. Uh, any place. Oh, so we did that already. Am I going the wrong way? Wait, wait. Nope, I'm going the right way. Okay. Waterfall. Very pretty this game is. And a temple. Oh, those are the people everyone keeps talking about. I wonder if those are the first astronauts. Maybe they're stuck where they're at. Yep, founding members. <coughs> Here. Big thanks to those of it. Additional founding members of Adderwell's Venture without whom we have gone off the ground. They're probably the... Like beta testers for the game. Hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Last day last, huh, buddy? It's the translator tools inaugural flight too. So excited, it's making me nauseous. Just think, you'll be able to translate any nomai text you want, anywhere you are. Two of us put a lot of hours in inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? <laughs> oh, jeez, do not break it. Uh, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous. I mean, the one going to space. How are you feeling? I'm excited. Dude, you won't be waiting for the day since you were hatchlings. Can't wait to see you all, all your training pay off. What's the dirt? You here to see the new Naomi statue? Of course. I knew you want to see before heading off. Hornfield's just finished prepping it for the display, too. Isn't it amazing, isn't it? I just wish you could see a real life nomad looks like, but I guess it's as close as we'll ever get. Check it out. It's like they had fur. Fur is weird. The first fully intact statue ever found, you know? For how good it is, it's in great shape. Alright, let me take a look at the. Art by the Nomai, ancient species built in our solar system thousands of years. Statue provides us with the most detailed look at the, yet at the Nomai who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur. Notice that decorative jewelry has been carved as part of the antlers. Though the artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in the solar system, we have no idea where the species came from or what happened to them. Hm. It's got three eyes. Strange rock moving around the ground appears to react to constant observation. The level head among us realizes it must be some sort of optical illusion at play. Yaro claims the rock exists in all possible states until observed, whatever that means. <coughs> uh. Oh. 
Trippy. Alright. Yeah. That was like our sun generating light and heat. Does our hydrogen start to contract? Yep, yeah, we know. Star's core contracts, gets hotter, causing the outer layers to expand. Let's become a giant. Helium into carbon. Okay. <coughs> so it's massive enough. If you fuse carbon to even heavy elements like iron, ultimately the star will collapse. So in a violent event called a supernova. Is not just observations, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. Chris was taken from a no my ruin on Brittle Hollow. Just to create local gravity distortion. Most likely used to diverse deep surfaces. Try it out. Whoa. Very weird. Lander thing. Oh. Part of a nomai skeleton. Now from the skulls that they possess antlers, quite usually only three eyes. My body is most likely adapted for living exclusively on land. The differences in the nomai's anatomy, such as a shockingly fragile bone structure, shows that Herthians couldn't have descended from nomai ancestors. Not clear where the Nomai originated from and why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to our solar system. Apart from drawings and structures they built, the Nomai also made art. This decorated pottery was discovered on Brittle Hollow. Some ancient Nomai art depicts strange animals, foreign celestial objects, and other subjects that can be found in our solar system. It makes them wonder whether the Nomai originated elsewhere in the universe or simply have vibrant imaginations. Were the Nomai born in our solar system, or were they born among other stars and planets? If they were, how and when did, why did they come here? This is just a few of the questions we hope to answer through further Xeno archaeological evidence. Didn't I see a, an anglerfish somewhere? Maybe it was just a trick of the light. Oh, there it is. Kind of an anglerfish, almost. This anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships, the flew close to Dark Bramble. It appears well suited to live in dark places with minimal atmosphere. Let's go up here. Alright. Uh, whoa. Oh! Boy, this is crazy. Alright. The Hourglass Twin. For Hearth. Little Hollow. Dark Bramble. Giant Steep. Yep, definitely going by really quickly. That makes sense. Alright, that was neat. I'm at the top of the observatory, okay. There you are. I just finished pre-file observations and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. We have our first astronaut equipped with a Nomai translator tool. I confess, I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. Better equipped to unravel mysteries of the Nomai. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's your plan with your in space? I'm going to wing it. <laughs> I'm following the footsteps of Felspar and the great other world's ventures tradition, aren't you? I'm at a guest. Well, see if you can't push that translator of yours to good use while you're out there. Looks like all that's left to send you off. All in all, fine day for lunch. Excellent. Do we need the launch codes then? Here they are. If I can help you with anything. I've got the launch codes. Right, oops, I just have to get back to that one dude. Been doing so much exploring. The rock that went around. Statue. What the? Oh boy. Trippy trippy. Weird. Hmm. Especially since there's no one here to see it with. Me. 
Hey, did you guys look at that Nomai statue? He looked at me and opened his eyes. Whoa, the statue's doing what? His eyes open and you saw images from your own memories glowing and flying around? You mean like a hallucination? <coughs> Listen, no offense, but are you sure you're okay, Lost? Like, medically speaking? You know what? Don't worry about it. Maybe you should sit down for a bit. Take it easy. Hey, for anything bad to have you, try to launch, but you're not feeling great. Hey, you are ready. You can make the most of our translator tool. <laughs> Can't believe it's all grown up and leaving for space already. For real, though, I'm glad you're the one carrying it, not like Rybeck. They'd fall on it for sure. Hey, if you want to do a short trip just to get your space legs under you, you can check out the ruins on Edelrock. Love to learn what those are. Look, stay flying. <coughs> on the right way. Yeah. What? <laughs> oh, I should be telling stuff like this. <laughs> Crazy kid. Alright. Alright. Oh, this is back where I started. Look at that, I went in a big circle. Check my timer for the food I'm making. <coughs> what a trippy looking spaceship. Huh. Up. Ding. Chip log. One and only Hearthian village. Oh, village. Main source of explosion on this planet. Oh, you're right, right. It looked at me. Oh, okay, so this is my stuff. Lunar ruins. Here, the Nomai ruins somewhere on Adarok. No one knows what they are or why they were built. Okay, so special there. Just a shot. All right, what's this? Stuff that I was looking at before. I want to look at. I want to go to. I want to go to Add a Rock. Okay, let's. I guess suit up. All right, see beyond the horizon. Innate dark areas, detect hazards, that's the environment. Okay, we'll see. Alright, lift off and landing camera. Huh? Ah, that's cool. Looks I am. Oh boy. What is this here? That's out of rock, so I want to go to that one. Wait. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ah, what did I just do? I'm doing crazy things. Let's see. Get closer, closer, closer. A okay, match. Velocity. Each autopilot. Uh, X landing mode.
Ah! I think I crashed. Uh. Exit ship to repair. Landing camera damaged. Landing gear damaged. Alright. Get here. Buckle. Hatch. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um. I'm supposed to be carrying here. Oh, there we go. Alright, I'm repaired, I think. Hey, am I all repaired? Nope. There's one here that needs to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's see if I'm where I need to be. Nope, still damaged. Take a look at my. Oh, okay, don't need to worry about that just yet. Oh boy, this is scary. Um. Here. Alright, oh, no, 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 back, 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 back. Oh, shh. Where's the thing that needs repaired? It's back here. Oops. Oh boy. The mesh velocity thing is not working. Very annoying. Oh! God darn. Garbage. Ah! So close. Oh, wait, I turned this stupid thing off. Ah! Shoot. Did I finish repairing it or not? I don't see anything. Ship, come back. It's like a probably how frustrating I'd find Kerbal Space Program, maybe. Alright, you know what? That was weird. Alright, maybe I could just get back inside and see where I'm at. Got all the way fixed. Uh, now I can't get sucked in for this thing to save my life. Uh, and you guys nauseous? There we go. Okay. Go have a seat. Better shape. Uh, 
that uh, stun, I guess. That's the sun. Oh no, those are the two little planets. That one's unknown. Banjo guy. Alright, let's be here. Where am I in relation to everything? This is. Definitely some people there. Where's my planet? Is it this one? Oh, that one says unknown. Nope. I will be right back. Okay, let's see here. I don't have to worry about my spaceship running out of whatever. How is there music on the sun? That's odd. Oh, it's not the sun, it's the uh Am I in relation to everything? Okay. All right. Sun. Us. Riddle Hollow. View map. There we go. Oh, I'm way, way out. Okay. What do I want to do? Oh. Gauge of pilot. Okay. There I am. All right. That's where I wanted to go, right? Maybe not. I don't remember. You know what? Just age. Now that I know where I'm at. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> this is much easier. I shouldn't have disengaged the uh, autopilot. Uh, I'll get back in there. Oh, there we go. I'm at Brutal Hollow, but I didn't actually want to be at Brutal Hollow. I wanted to be at the Adel Rock. Alright, now we're good. Now, lift off. 
An owl pilot. There you go. I don't think autopilot's gonna work. Let's get a little further away from this planet first. Alright, now let's autopilot. There we go. Who's whistling? Undershot target. Okay. <clears throat> Somehow not crash this time. Out of the way. Okay, this time we're not gonna crash. Nice and slow. There you go. <laughs> I wonder if I'm even able to. I can't. There we go. Yeah, cool. What am I supposed to do here? I don't remember. I have to find some ruins. Okay. Go. Point two x gravity. No gravity. Walking away. Bobber. Ah, it's trippy. Look at my planet. I ship my flashlight. That oh, probably just artifact of round relative to the I oh, mean, is there gonna be some scary shadows later? Not a scary movie type of person. I mean, it doesn't scare me or anything. A thing. What effects are gonna look like? Obvious. Oh, there's a little dot 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 of where I'm walking. Then I can kind of see where I've been. Here we go. Look at this. I got a house. Oh yeah, definitely some kind of house. Temple. Maybe? Huh. I've seen these patterns before. Oh. Observatory. Rippy. Alright, look in here. Huh? Nothing there. Right. Go down the stair. Used to live on. Whoa. I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator, and it can hear and follow signals. Sun, giant steep, and follow. <coughs> oh. However, something strange is happening when I ask, ask the locator to follow the eye signal. The rest indicator rotates wildly and never points in just one direction. Likely, calibrate the locator incorrectly. Pivot my apprentice and I will make adjustments and try again. Everything is correctly calibrated after all. I has made a positive this, my friends, but I believe we need to build a more sophisticated device to find the exact location of the eye of the universe. 
then we will build it. Don't lose hope, Kababa. The eye is what brought us our clan to this place. I wonder if this is one of those, like, it's possible that I have stopped calling out its signal. Huh. wonder if this is kind of like... He's detected. Oxygen tank refill. Very cool. wonder if this is one. <coughs> they were trying to find something and it turned out to be horrible. Translation. Scroll. Okay. <coughs> Where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? Be larger than this icicle locator is. Nona and those of us originally stranded on the Ember Twin. Quantum moon locator there. The heat of the sun made its construction challenging. Been building a planet. Okay. Southern Glacier on Brittle Hollow has ample available space. So I guess these are giving me new places to go look. Yes, let's build there. I imagine our young friend Con Conway would enjoy that immensely. He's always had a great interest in the eye, especially for a child born so long after the crash. The construction on Brittle Hollow, so, huh, so some kind of crash happened. Um, they talk in interesting ways. Definitely neat of the... Uh, Okay, wow, seeing this ruin in other trailers' pictures, but seeing it for myself, it's really old, isn't it? Wow, this is the coolest day of my life. Okay, time for some official notes. Some kind of nomai locator, it can point out different planets, which is incredibly cool, by the way, but from what little I can understand the writing here, I think it was built to try to find something specific. Not sure. I was also able to translate something about the South Pole of Brittle Hollow, so I'll fly there if I can learn more. Yep, just gonna get back in the old ship and take off. Totally safe. Mostly safe. I wonder if that's the dude who never came back? Okay, so this room is a circle, I believe. I've taken care of everything here. Let's see. So, did this one. This is when I first came in. And a sun. Did this one when I put this coal in. I heard that. Alright, I think I'm ready to maybe leave the moon. Let's see. Find the beginning of the stairs first. go. Alright, I wonder if there are more ruins or just these? <laughs> There's got dots on. I'm walking in circles. In the way I am, maybe ever, ever increasingly large circles? <coughs> Then again, I don't think this moon is that big. I've probably hit everything I need to hit. But... We've got enough oxygen, so I'm not too worried yet. Oh, something straight up this way, maybe. got a map. Maybe I always had a map and I just wasn't intention. I don't think so. Whoa. Magma? Whoa. Kind of fireworks? Ah, I didn't jump high enough. What in the bloody hell is this? Uh, my control is shaking like crazy. I died, baby. Oh. Looks like my memories. Heh, <laughs> trippy. Oh yeah, all my stupid... Trying to repair the stupid thing.
Oh, back here again. Got the launch codes. Don't have to do that part again. You have his going to talk to this guy. You get the sound of Ships fuel up and ready to go. Did, did I just die? Bad dream or something? You still look half asleep. That's the negative on being deceased. I know it's traditional to sleep out under the stars the night before lunch, but if you ask me, it makes you all a bit jumpy. I mission what's up in space. Hey, you're the pilot. You tell me. Aren't you pilot types eager to get up there and explore for yourselves? And if you go to the moon or Brutal Hollow or just the other side of Timbo Hearth, it's all the same to me. Get out there and have fun. Just don't hurt the ship. That's all I ask. All right. I think that's going to be it for this session, but I just want to really quickly... I already got that from the observatory, remember? <laughs> now, I wonder what happens if I go there again. <clears throat> Is something different going to happen? I just want to take a quick look and see what my ship's log has. Alright. Okay. Okay. Oops. Right. Right. He was the guy who wrote the uh, thing. I thought it was him. Alright, so if I go to... Alright, so if I go here... And I've got this... Okay. Wait a minute. Okay, so interestingly, so I've, I've, I'm not sure what is, a lot of G walk towards it, enjoy, <laughs> I'm not sure what is meant to be, um, like, game mechanics, and what's meant to be story, and if those two are separable or not. But, so, I've got the launch codes, so, obviously that part happened, and the ship's log has logs, but that dude doesn't remember me dying, and I, I bet I could go throughout town, and well, probably wouldn't remember. I don't know what happened if I went to the uh, statue thing. Um, so, I'm, I'm intrigued. I was actually, when I was getting a little frustrated trying to find the planet I was supposed to go to, I was kind of going to just... Hey, hey, Dan, thanks for this game, but I, I don't know. Um, but now, I'm kind of intrigued. I'd like to... Uh... I'd like to uh, see what happens. I'm not sure what that meant there when I said reset poop. Probably just means my current progress. Alright, so I had to use the... Um... I might change some of those settings later. So, I had to uh, change to the NVEC um, encoder in order to actually get decent encoding um, for the video. Hopefully it wasn't too janky. I'll watch it after this and see, see if I make adjustments after that. Alright. This has been Eric playing Outer Wilds, which uh, is a profoundly odd game. Next time.